First time. Yeah. It is. So back for the conclusions of these match. It's Jacob DiGiacomo going against Jared Bascarino. And it's Aaron Fauché, who's that guy, going up against Zach Martinez in the scratch division. Ring and 10 there. Boy, Aaron has been locked in on the left-hand lane and gone strike, strike, nine spare. And there, a ringing 10 pin. Seven-year-old DiGiacomo, up oh, in trouble there. It's a double gutter in the seventh frame for him. Oh, he's off. What had happened was, see, I went over here and give me some love and support. I tried to go over there. Some boy kicked my ball into the gutter. Unacceptable. I'm going to go back on it. <laughs> any age, any average, folks. It is true on tour. It is not a myth. He was like, I need more candy. And is that what it was? Like, I need more candy? I need more candy. Oh, and she's boy. Like, she has the bag down there. <laughs> a lot of cupcakes running around. Here's Bascarino. Hey, there's a big strike for Jared here in frame number seven. Martinez strikes off to the right, too. Ruth correctly points out that these poor guys have to be exhausted. This is, they bowled five games of qualifying. This is somewhere around the fifth or sixth game of this match play portion that we're in. They bowled a full day yesterday from uh, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. So it's just been constant bowling for them. But you know what, as tired as they are, if we let them bowl 20 more games, I think they'd be right out there. Another good shot off the strikes for Jared, so it's going to be good count either way. Martinez right now up working on that spare, on the strike rather, leads by 9, 21, can make it 30. Give it to him, boy oh boy. Martinez loving Cliff Castle this weekend. And Boscarino loving the seventh and eighth frames as he goes strike spare. Right now he's got himself a big lead over to Giacomo. But we'll see what happens the rest of the way. Aaron, Julie Aaron has yet to win a scratch title, but a uh, multi-time champ back in the 1980s on the handicap division. Aaron was a, a bowler of the year back in the handicap division quite a few years ago. Took some time off, played some baseball, some other sports. Went to U of A and said, I'm going to get back into bowling. Made a great return last fall. Shot a 300 game, I think, in his first or second tournament back with us. Has come close, way right there. Boy, oh boy. Really, 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 really cheetah-esque at this point. The farther right he gets it, the better his look is. And now, can he figure out this left-hand lane? This is the key shot of the match for Fauché. He can still strike out for 215. Martinez going at a 213 pace. Here's Giacomo working on that one count, the last ball, and that's right on the head pin as well. Not a bad finish there. Form in the eighth frame, 44 through eighth. So Bascarino's made up the handicap from then some. He is in really good shape in this match, and this is the key shot for Fauché in this match. And unfortunately, it's not a good one. That was left off of his hands. Doesn't break up the split either, so trouble for Fauché. All right, at least no split for him. Gets the seven out of it. All right, if Aaron spares this up, the best he can do is 195. Again, Martinez in the two teams, so Aaron's going to need help from Zach in order to win this match. First things first, must cover the 310. Ah, oh, goodness. Aaron Fauché would like to take lane 15 and kick it out to the driver right now because it's been the difference in this match. In the gutter for young Jacob there. If this is a runner-up finish, what an impressive runner-up finish it is for Jacob. But Jared, who has been bowling this tour for years, is two frames away from claiming JVT victory number one. Speaking of early victories, Zach who couldn't buy a title before is going to walk out of here with back-to-back -back titles on the weekend. Are you kidding me? So, prohibitive early bowler of the year lead. And they're basically playing the same shot, just uh, Zach had a little better luck on that left-hand lane. Caught the doubles and that's going to be the difference in the match. Zach and Aaron, two really good guys on tour too. The win or lose, they're going to congratulate their opponent. Two of the better sports. Always nice to see them finish up in the top two. More self-applause from Jared. He's a happy camper over there. I don't blame him one bit. Only when your first one once. We saw that big old smile out of Zach yesterday. We're seeing it out of Jared now. Uh, um, 
Stacy wants to be if she remembered, so you can go out there with her. That would be good. Get that 10 pin out of there. That's a title winner. Still getting coaching from Dad. Usually he's one of our pa more panicky parents, but he seems suddenly quiet all of a sudden. Something went right there. There you go. Six count doesn't matter for Zach. Lack of a spare doesn't matter for Jared. 125 is plenty. And a high five from Jacob too. That's a champ. Didn't matter there. Let's see if Aaron can at least spare this one up for the show. So we had two matches come down to the 10th frame yesterday. Two matches decided well before then today. Make sure you check Bowl JBT under YouTube for all the videos. There's a good shot. Atta boy. Hey, there you go. I gotta admit, I stopped watching, but I think I kept the camera on it there. Is this not ignorance is bliss once? Yeah, he didn't win the match, but so what? He's had a blast. He's jumping up and down. I believe he had a cupcake. Why not? Folks, if you think you're not good enough, not old enough for JBT, I would like to reintroduce you one last time here, Jacob. Him and his ilk are all over this tour. It's a lot of fun for everybody. We want you out here. Tell your friends, tell your family, all that stuff. Anyway, be sure you check the rest of YouTube out for videos earlier than this season. Come to our website, bowljbt.com. You'll find, oh gosh, about 10 years worth of stuff as we're into our 15th year of competition. I'm old, people. Uh, happy birthday, Jeff. Oh, look at this one. Hook one more time. All right. Jacob, folks, we'll hand out the awards to these great boys, and we'll talk to you again down the...